Hey guys, uh, bringing a quick video here. Um, got an iPad 2, obviously. Um, I always looking for a, a case option. Um, I bought the iPad. I put the Invisa Shield on it from day one. Um, I use an OtterBox on a daily basis, and I have the Smart Cover. Um, smart Cover does not provide enough protection. The outer box is a little bulky and doesn't provide enough protection for the screen. Uh, and the smart cover obviously does just the opposite, right? And the Invisa Shield works oh, okay. Scratch resistant and stuff. Gives a little grip to it. So on like Ribbon and Pi or something, I came across a keyboard that turns your iPad into basically what it looks like is a Mac Mini. Not a Mac Mini. MacBook Air Mini. And uh, I thought it was a pretty cool idea because most of these keyboard things I've seen are crap. Um, this one I got off of eBay. It was about $45 with shipping. came from Hong Kong. And uh, I, I got to say, so far, I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, I started to rip into it and had to restart my video. But uh, uh, basically, it is a um, keyboard that does multiple Bluetooth functions and things of that nature and I do a lot of typing for work so for me this is a pretty cool option if it works good um, most of them are kind of rubber and cheesy and whatever so we'll get into it real quick I just wanted to show it to you guys because I thought it was pretty cool I got this off of eBay like I said it came from Hong Kong I saw these on the United States uh, some in the United States and they were pretty pricey um, I wasn't really impressed the price was anywhere from 60 to a hundred dollars and this is it. Um, it basically, like I have a MacBook Air, and sorry for the shaky camera, but it basically looks just like a MacBook Air. Identical almost. A little smaller, obviously. It's the size of an iPad, not the size of a MacBook Air. But I uh, maybe a MacBook Air, like 11 inch maybe. Um, and it's supposed to have some kind of thing that holds this thing up. I don't know if this flips out or, or what it does, but let me see. Oh yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, and it hooks up via Bluetooth, and then you're supposed to be able to shut it and snaps in place. Like so, I suppose. And then you got an aluminum cover on this side. And then you got the back of the uh, Mac or the uh, iPad on this side. But uh, I won't show you the setup and stuff, but basically pretty easy. I've hooked these up before. You just uh, charge it, um, hook it up via Bluetooth, and it will actually control your brightness. It'll control your volume. It'll control, it has some hot keys to do some different functions. But anyways, I thought it was pretty cool. It's for 45 bucks. Search eBay for it, uh, aluminum keyboard or something along along those lines, and uh, I don't know. Hit me up in comments if uh, you got any questions or on Twitter, L I T E S P D sixty nine. And uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, appreciate all your feedback and your support. And uh, thank you very much. Talk to you later. Peace. Okay guys, this is the same keyboard I did the unboxing on that is now uh, hooked up via Bluetooth uh, to my iPad. See my iPad there? Some of the cool features of this thing, um, I didn't even know you could do with Bluetooth, but uh, let's see here, so you can control the brightness, right? Uh, if I turn that on, you can control the volume via the keyboard all the way off, all the way on. Pretty cool. All those hotkeys that would be like on your MacBook Air there. Uh, Let's see what this does. No. Brings up your photos. Brightness. Here's the search. Brings up the search light. 
me a backspace here so we can hide some stuff. So if I hit the home button, just like you would on your iPhone, goes back and forth. Um, I can also, it's just like having a home button, uh, you can multitask with it. I use multi-flow. So if I double tap this, my windows will come up. So I'll hit the home button to close them. Double tap, back open. Now I can't select one, or at least I don't think I can yet, so I still have to go in and touch one to bring it up, but that's okay. And obviously, you know, you can type on it. it has command functions. Uh, you, can, uh, you can eject. You can play the iPod if I hit uh, play right here. Should start playing a song. Oh, but I turned the volume down, so I'll turn. So yeah, you can hear there's actually music in the background. I hit that to stop it. I can bring this up. Oh yeah, I can even use disable backgrounding, but uh, I can hit play and play music. Change the song. Go back and stop it. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't think that uh, these keyboards had this many functions on it, but man, this thing seems to have a ton of functions. Really, really easy to set up. You just uh, open your settings browser and uh, sync it up. One full charge does 45 hours, believe it or not. That is crazy, right? But kind of neat. Um, and then you just drop your you just take your iPad and fold it forward, and it basically folds up like a MacBook, sort of. A little different, obviously, it's not on hinges, but still pretty neat. So, anyways, guys, this is uh, an update that I'll post with my original unboxing video together. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. Follow me on Twitter, L I T E S P D 69. And uh, thanks for all you guys' support. You guys should go on eBay and search aluminum iPad 2 keyboard and go get yourself one of these because they're pretty badass. So talk to you later. Peace.